Our universities are pushing bigotry, and that's what this is. This is anti-Israeli bigotry, anti-Jewish, anti-Semitic. It is anti-American bigotry. And this administration embraces that kind of thinking. I think, have you noticed that, or is it just me? Last week, I talked about the proposed circumcision ban in San Francisco. Now, proponents claim this bill is just about health care. They're protecting the little innocent babies. That's what they're doing right here, circumcising. I know. I don't know about Anthony Weiner. But I still remember when I was eight days old. I might have been three days old. I didn't know I couldn't read a calendar yet, and I'm still... Sometimes I wake up in horror thinking, ah! No, that really didn't. I don't think it bothered me at all. I might have cried a little while, but I cried a lot. When I, in fact, I still cry a lot, but that's a different story. What I said last week about the ban of circumcision that is being... It shows out of control already, isn't it? The ban on circumcision uh, in San Francisco. Here's what I said last week. It is amazing to me how you can go back in history and see the same pattern happening over and over and over again, 175 B.C. and now today in San Francisco. I believe it has nothing to do with health. It has everything to do with anti-Semitism. And it is evil. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. I have to tell you, um, I was wrong about that. Uh, I'm, it is all about health, as the guys who you know, wrote the bill and are pushing the bill will tell you. Um, now, in a completely unrelated, the guy who wrote the bill, Matthew Hess, he also is writing comic books, and I just want you to know, <laughs> it's all about health. It really is. It's about health. He just released this comic book, uh, and I'm not kidding you, it is called Foreskin Man. This is being handed out in uh, California. There are also Foreskin Man trading cards that uh, say, nothing excites the monster Moyle more than cutting into the penile flesh of an eight-day-old infant boy. Mm. Who is Monster Moyle? Let me show you. Kevin, can you get a uh, shot? Can you get a shot here? I want to show you this. This is an amazing uh, little story, and we can take a lot of tight shots on it. Fox, Fox thought it was a little, and it is. Uh, it's a little disturbing. Um, so here's um, here it is. Uh, you know, uh, this woman has a uh, has a boyfriend who's got a big boat and stuff. Blue eyed, uh, blue eyed, uh, blonde uh, haired uh, Aryan here, and. She says, oh, I, I have to tell you, uh, my, uh, my uh, sister was going to have her son circumcised because she married a Jewish man, and, but they've decided not to. I talked him out of it, and he said, hey, uh, are they still having some sort of a brisk ceremony? Because I'd like to go with you. And she's like, oh, that would be so great. Ding dong. Here they are. They're coming together at the little party. And um, he says, did I miss anything? And she says, no, but look how hot I look. There they are. And the father says, the father of the little boy says, uh, mom says, well, we were going to have him circumcised, but I talked him out of it. And the father says, you didn't think you really talked me out of it. <gasps> Is the Jewish guy becoming evil? Find out in the next exciting episode. Oh, we don't have to wait for it because pound, 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 smashing the doors open. And look at this. Here is the evil moil, the rabbi with the two, I don't know, rabbi bodyguards or whatever they are, smashing down the door, coming in. They're ripping the baby from the mother's arms. Can you bring this full screen? Can you take the picture of the, of the rabbi? Do you have that full screen? Pull the picture of the rabbi Moyle. Look at this. Uh, does he, is that the, that, there's a synagogue I want to go to, you know. So um, he says, we're going to finish the job here. He holds up the Torah, and he says, if I can get this... Uh, I want to make sure I get this right. Um, Praise be thou, our God, King of the universe, who hath commanded me to circumcise this child in thy name. Time to make your sacrifice to God. And then he uh, goes after the baby. Here they are holding down the baby to try to, and he's got the long black fingernails and everything else. The guy is totally, this is, this is Nazi propaganda. Mom then is uh, beat on the head. Uh, foreskin man takes the baby. Because the rabbi, even if you kill him, the father, the Jewish father, says, we'll get him circumcised. You'll never stop us, foreskin man. And that's why foreskin man takes the child into his arms, takes him to the beach. Uh, of, course, of course, it's California. Got to go to the beach. Go to the beach where there are um, intactivists underground. And they say, Glick will be safe with us, foreskin man. We'll raise him as one of our own. So they take this Jewish child 
into their own. They steal them from the family. And then here's what they do. We're having a bonfire. Would you like to join us? Tell me this isn't anti-Semitic. This uh, reflects a Jewish menorah. They're setting it on. This would be akin to a cross burning, wouldn't it? But I want to show you this, and if you can, this is the last page. If you can, this is before they set it on fire. Take the close-up shot, please, of what is in that, those pictures of what makes this menorah up. Doesn't that look like people? So are we, is, is, is that referencing the Holocaust too? By the way, this again was written by the guy who wrote the anti-circumcision um, bill in California. How's that? Now, he says, a lot of people have said that this is anti-Semitic, but we're not trying to be anti-Semitic. We're trying to be pro-human rights. Well, I don't care if you're trying to or not. You are. This circumcision vote in California is actually picking up steam. Got more than 7,100 votes just to get it on the ballot, and a, a similar proposal is making gains in Santa Monica now. And the end goal for them is, quote, making cutting boys' foreskin a federal crime. We must not allow this hate to fester and grow. We must not bury our heads in the sand. We must call evil by its name, and we must start being people of virtue. When we see Anthony Weiner, we must demand that he resign. You must be able to trust people, and you must be able to spot the difference between good and evil.